something happened to you, your phone goes off, and you have to go digging through your purse or your pocket, or whatever, trying to find out who it is, and then you you finally get it out of there and find out it's a spam text. Yes, indeed. It's happened to just about all of us. You know that. Joanne Purden joins us now with how you can stop the spam so you don't waste your money. It is so annoying, right? And maybe you're like me wondering, first of all, how'd they get my number? And more importantly, how can I make it stop? Take a look. When busy working mom Kimberly White Young hears a text notification, she jumps. Is it about her daughter, her job? So when it turns out to be spam, it's very annoying. How annoying are spam texts? Well, FCC data we sorted reveals more than 10,000 complaints about unwanted robocall and telemarketing text messages. Spam texts are actually very prevalent. How'd they get your number? You may have given it to them. People will often opt in for text messages and not realize they've done so. This could be anything from buying something online to even going to a sporting event where the big board says, text your favorite something to this number. But sometimes, Haber says, texts are being sent from an auto dialer just looking for a response. There are a wide variety of text message hacks that can occur today, everything from hacktivism to actually owning your phone with viruses and malware. And once that spam text is in your phone, do you know what to do? We asked Kimberly. I don't feel like I know what I should do. Experts say if you don't remember opting in for texts from the sender, don't click on attachments or links and don't hit opt out. When receiving a spam text or any text that's questionable, users should never reply to the text itself. If they do and it's an auto dialer, a hacker or a scammer, you've basically acknowledged that the number is active and given them a dialogue to continue the conversation or potentially target the attack. So how do you stop it? Block the number the text comes from. Report the text is spam to your carrier, the FCC and the FTC. There are also apps that offer help. Kimberly says she's now planning to fight back. It's really scary, actually. Hmm. Now to learn more about how to report spam text to the FCC and the FTC, like we mentioned, head to WXYZ.com. Some spam texts are actually illegal to send, so the feds want to hear about ones you get. We've also got links there for those apps we talked about. My son has been getting a bunch of these lately. Really? He doesn't mm -hmm. know how, but I, I, I was considering doing the opt-out thing. Right. So don't do the opt-out thing unless you opted into something. Right. But if you don't know where it came from, don't do it that way. Block the number. It's annoying. It is annoying. You have to work <laughs> hard to get put. rid of it. You really do. All right, thanks, Joanne. Do yep. your homework. All yeah. right, thanks, Joanne. <laughs> All right.